we built this primarily for our son and because we thought it was a really cool idea and we wanted to share it with other parents. In 12 One Health, a Shelton couple has created an iPhone application they say is helping them communicate with their autistic son. They tell us they think it can change the way parents of special needs kids interact especially when out in public. News South Connecticut, Shauna Ryan joins us from the newsroom. Shauna, what's the application called? Surely it's called iPromps. The Tedesco family says they always used pictures to help their son identify objects, activities, and even feelings. But they often felt stigmatized in public when they would have to carry around hundreds of pictures. So the technically savvy couple decided to fit all of that into one place in a unique way they say autistic kids better respond to. This is Gordon. Evan is four and a half years old. Can I make us a little train? Just a little tiny train? No. No? He was diagnosed um, with autism. We, okay. we had noticed that he didn't really have very much language. Dan and Carrie Tedesco say when their son Evan was diagnosed with autism, they wanted to find a way to better communicate with him. Oh, Stuart, Stuart Little, I'm oh. sorry. So they created a picture book. We learned that pictures were a great way to communicate with him. But the book was cumbersome. It really um, makes you look awkward. It's uncomfortable out in public. Carrie says after she bought an iPhone, she wondered if it could help her and her family. I was like, why can't I take all of this and put it in this? It's ridiculous. We've designed iPromps. Together, they created an iPhone app with a library of images that Evan can recognize. I could say to Evan, do you want to eat, you know, an apple or a banana? It even has a green color timer that helps Evan understand when it's time for certain activities. I can say to Evan, when the green is gone, we're going to go take a bath. Our transitions are so much smoother than it had ever been. Ev, when the green is gone, we're going to go... Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. That's right. It's really going to enable those in the special needs community to get out and about where they belong. Look, the green is... Gone. Okay, let's go brush our teeth. The Tedesco say the application also allows people to take pictures and add them to the image li library and to customize things and make things even more identifiable for children. They hope their invention can help people with other conditions that involve communication barriers. For more information about the application, go to our website, news12.com. In the newsroom, Sean Ryan, News 12 Connecticut. See live traffic cameras from around the tri-state area. Go to channel 612 and select traffic on News 12 Interactive, only on cable not on phone company TV or anywhere else.